How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to disable or remove the ads from your Kindle Fire HD. Now what you're going to do is uh, go to your web browser, go to www.amazon.com, which is where I'm at right now. Come on over here to sign in and click on sign in. You're going to put in your information. Mine just pops up. And once you sign into your account here, um, you want to go over here to where you see hello and your name. Come down to manage your Kindle. And it will take you here. And now you want to come down to your Kindle account and click on manage your devices. Okay, so once you do that, you should see your Kindle registered right here. This is assuming that you ha you have a Kindle Fire HD and you have signed in with your account or created a new account and uh, your Kindle will show up under register Kindle devices right here. Under special offers you want to click on edit next to subscribed and right here it gives you the disclaimer this Kindle is currently subscribed to special offers and was purchased at a subsidized price. Uh, Amazon is able to offer the Kindle at a subsidized price by delivering special offers and sponsored screensavers. By uh, unsubscribing, you will be charged a $15 fee plus tax. So all you have to do is click unsubscribe now with one click and it's going to deduct $15 from your account and it will remove the ads. Now let me go over something real fast here. I want to um, explain a couple of things here. Let me minimize this. I want to show you what the ads are first of all. Some of you may already know but for those of you that don't I want to show you real quick what are these ads. Uh, this is a picture of a couple of different type of screensavers you may see. This is the main place where they push their ads. It's on the screensaver. So like this was a, a ad for a movie. This was an ad where they actually gave you five dollars of, of, of five dollar credit to put towards their their music store for you to buy music and these two were uh this was a movie ad this was a tv ad so uh here's the thing as far as i know even if you take the ads off you still can't put your own custom stuff on the screensaver now this could change but for now you can't control what comes up on the screensaver okay so it's not really that bad to have ads on the screensaver when you turn it on and in fact like I've redeemed a couple of these offers like I, I did get the five dollars of free music and I used it you know there was another one where you got like three dollars towards the video streaming service um, so you know for uh, to get free stuff and that, that's the part I think is pretty cool is that they're actually giving you stuff. It's not just all just regular ads like this. In fact, there was another ad that said if you were to connect your Discover card, you would get a $10 credit. So I, I thought the ads were kind of useful. Uh, obviously, I prefer to have my own picture on the screensaver. But as far as I know right now, you can't control that. So just keep in mind that um, all you're disabling are basically what you see on the home screen. That's it, or what you see on the screensaver. You're not disabling anything else in the Kindle. Also, on your Kindle Fire, let me uh, jump to Google here and I'll show you the other image here. Because um, I want to make sure you fully understand what you're disabling. And once I really figured out what the difference is, it's not really that much. So look at this picture right here. This bar at the bottom right here this is the customer suggestions this part will not be disabled so I just want you to know that that's not a part of the ad section okay so what you see at the bottom here the customers also bought section this will still be active so this is still going to show you recommendations when you are when you have different things on your carousel which is this little front part right here so just again wanted to make sure you're fully aware of what you're doing when you disable those ads for 15 bucks if it just really bucks the heck out of you go ahead and disable it but I mean is it really that bad to have those offers that a lot of times the offers are giving you free stuff so that's my take on it here. Uh, this is H2 Tech Videos. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and uh, like the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. And remember, have a good one.